Okay, so where are we going? We are going to Father Hennepin State Park. That is a state park on Lake Mille Lacs. And I'll tell you about that on the way. Morning. We had another wondrous full night of non-stop rain. Let me show you. It's not raining now. But boy, that wind is blowing. And it's nice. I mean, you'd think in a place like this, you know, northern Minnesota, it would rain all the time. You know, you see all these trees and all the woods. And it usually does, it's just, just not this year. So it's kind of welcome to see it. You know, we've been hand watering the gardens all year long. And the lakes and rivers have been really, really low. Some of them even dried out. A lot of the sloughs and, you know, small water completely dried out. <laughs> You'd see all the, uh, the bees and the hornets and all that, you know, gathered around the end of your water hose. But I think that's ended. So... I've been uh, filling the tanks and uh, packing the uh, Kodiak and we're going to head back out to another camping adventure. First stop was to get diesel. Next stop is the big fish. The big fish. I'll show you what that is. Did I mention holiday gas stations have the best ever coffee? That's the big fish after the big deer here. And the deer is for Deerwood, Minnesota. Nice place to relax for a moment. We'll go around the bend here. I'll show you. Ooh, look at that wind. Seagulls by the hundreds. I wouldn't want to be on that lake right now, as windy as it is. It'd be a rough ride. Look at that. Boy, is it windy.
I was going to get a drone shot, but I don't know if I'll, I'll risk it in this wind. Anyway, this is the home of the big walleye. So let me show you the big walleye. There's Candy over there, see her? Say hi. I've only fished this lake one time, and that was with a friend. I'm not real familiar with it at all, and that's the main reason I don't uh, come down here. It's not that far. I wonder if that's the artist's uh, signature here. Anyway, here's a pose. And this is the reason Malax is called Malax. I don't know if you can see that, but it's named from fur traders. Phrase, the, South, the Thousand Lake Regions. The Thousand Lake Region. This lake is 1,250 feet above sea level. It covers about 200 square miles. It formerly included much low ground and several adjacent lakes when visited by Duluth in 1679. Sioux villages, now indicated by num numerous burial mounds, lined the lake shores. The nice thing about having the adventure mobile is if I gotta pee, I just go. There's, there's no place no restrooms here. In case I didn't mention it, this is the lake they were going to be staying on at the campground. It's just a big lake. We got to make our way around it. Hey, they're getting a selfie. We used to have an outfitter store called Reeds in Brainerd, but uh, Gander Mountain bought them out. And they haven't been back since. They since moved to a place called Ona Onamia, which is where we're going. Now they also have a reeds up in Walker and Leech Lake, Minnesota. I don't know why they ever left Brainerd. It's a pretty awesome sporting goods store. They, I mean, they got every. They got more than like Bass Pro Shop even. They got so much crap. I mean, good crap, not, not bad crap. Just, you know, firearms and fishing equipment and snowmobile equipment and you name it, they got it. This is a smaller store up here, but we haven't been here in so many years. I think we're gonna stop by. And here it is. It's the big red roof building here. But there's our turn right there, so we'll double back, but I think it's right here. It is, but there's a trailer parking down here. Oh. I'm sure we can find a spot. 
we are not trailer. We are awesome truck camper. Hey, is it open? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Hmm, maybe it's closed. What the heck? Uh, they lift their pontoons out. Yeah, it looks closed. I'll be darn. It's too bad. Oh, it's closed on Tuesday. Closed on Monday and Tuesdays. Open that tomorrow. Ain't this something? I was all excited to go to Reed's and it's closed Monday and Tuesday. Who'd have thunk it? Who closes on Monday and Tuesday? What outfitter does that? Looks like it fooled a couple of people, it being closed. A couple of people showing up here. No, it ticked off, it's closed. Father Hennepin State Park, 600 feet on the left. We're in Isle, Minnesota, population 751. We went down here before, I remember that. I remember this. Starting from the Father Hennepin State Park. In half a mile, a ride at Father Hennepin State Park. We didn't get any bait. Father Hennepin State Park. That's located on the southeast corner of Millax Lake. The park is named after Father Louis Hennepin, a priest who visited the area with a French expedition way back in 1680. This 320 acre park has 103 campsites and a sandy beach, which is over one mile long. And so, Here's our adventure at Father Hennepin State Park.
The lake is right there, literally right there. There's two uh, outhouses there. There's a shower room there. Perfect spot. Odd. It's uh, windy as heck all day long, and right now, of course, we're inside the campground. It doesn't seem windy at all. So that's pretty awesome. I'm going to wait to get the bike out, and we're going to scope things out on foot right now. It's a lot of campers, a lot of activity. Our neighbor just left when we got here. After they saw candy. <laughs> so I guess uh, the close to rule would be the lake right there. Yep. Found this way. There's a road. There's more camping down there. So Candy's already got it all figured out. She's got her little canteen suitcase with her and she sounds like Mr. Jingling's. Okay, the camper is right there, and here's a like a. This looks like a um, a boat landing. It's so big. I'll, I'll bet you that's what it is. Oh, yep, says boat launch on there. We discovered we picked up a mouse in our truck, in the cab of the truck somewhere, which we can't have that. That start chewing wiring. I'd be screwed. So fortunately we had a trap with us, or a couple of traps with us, and we're going to try to trap them. So here's the lake. You can see we had some considerable rain. These are uh, lakeside uh, camping here. No power, as you can tell. I didn't bring any bait, of course. The one time we forget, <laughs> we're right on the lake. Well, yeah, the one time uh, we forget, I don't have any. I guess I have a bicycle. I could ride around and find some, maybe. But here's the close to rule from the camper. Nice. Very nice, very rocky. You'd need to bobber fish here and you'd have to set your hook up pretty high. Pretty calm. Oh my, how the weather does change so fast. The sun is out. Here's one of the uh, lakeside tent spots. Somebody obviously just left because you can still see the outline of the, where they had their tent pitched. And just like uh, the uh, last campground we were at um, in Little Falls, they got the railroad ties kind of leveling things out. Looks like the campground has uh, not a lot, but a 
few places to uh, harbor your vessel. This down by the lake appears to be all tent camping. And here, it looks like you're allowed to ride a bicycle on this trail. Unlike uh, the last campground we were at. Paved. So that's cool. So where are we? We're lost. It doesn't say we're here. Uh, let's see. We're probably right in this area here. Down here. Here's the boat landing here. That's what they have two. This is one we were just Okay, at. for use by campers only. Okay, so we were going down this one. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have my uh, official camping Gerber survival knife that I bought like 10 years ago and just now broke it out because I'm an official camping survivalist in case I have to chop wood or something. Looks like this trail goes all the way by the lake. The lake right through those trees there. And it is green. I've never seen it so green this year as it is right now. Yeah, this is uh, the, the lake I know for sure has uh, muskie in it. Giant muskie. And uh, tons of smallmouth, largemouth bass, northern crappies, walleye. Although, I guess the walleye fishing hasn't been too spectacular lately. I do know that they catch, when they do catch some, really monster walleye. Giant ones. But like any lake, it's one of those lakes you really got to get to know. Because there's a lot of hazards and just too many hazards to mark. So it's one of those uh, lakes that uh, you got to get to know before you uh, set sail. Here's another map along the way. It doesn't tell us where we are, but I think about here, because Maple, we're at Lakeview Campground. So here's Maple Campground. I'm not sure where this famous beach is that everyone raves about, but I expect we'll we'll see it before we leave. Oh, there's a fishing pier right there. And here is a fishing pier. Let's go check it out. It's it's got a it's even paved going down there. <laughs> Luxury. Mama duck and her, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ducklings. I love ducklings. Candy says she thinks this is the public landing for the, uh, the public to use, and that's what it looks like. Oh. 
fishing here again. No, you're right. It's a boat landing. Yep. Oh, I think it's wet now. I'm going to want to... You know, this is what? We are less than an hour south of where we live. Is it about right? Maybe 40 minutes south of oh. where we live. Mm -hmm. And uh, until we had a, uh, a truck camper, we've never been here. We've never been here before. We don't want a tent camp. <laughs> I guess we could have, but we'd rather not. <laughs> right, and you know, who wants to drag a big giant fifth wheel around it anyway? Although there are some here. And some big travel trailers as well. But there is another Arctic Fox truck camper, almost identical to what we have also parked along the way where we are at and hey of course as soon as we came in before we even set up we're over there hey hey bro hey bro you know we're homies i guess i'm good with that
This must be the beach that everyone's raving about. It's huge. Oh my goodness. Man, Look at this. Forever. That must be the swim beach down there where all them buoys are. Oh. Holy cow. Boy, them boats are big out here. This is a nice beach. This is... I don't know if it's natural or not. I, I find it hard to believe, but let me show you. If you were a kid, <laughs> you would have a ball here. Look at that. You don't have to worry about your little toesies. This is like uh, actually better than a ocean beach. No salt water. <laughs> you don't get that stinging salt in your eyes or jellyfish stings. Out there. You can't, I can't, I don't have a camera that can zoom out that far. But there's literally giant yachts out here. I mean, I don't know if this will pick it up on the horizon, but really giant yachts. And here's the official swim beach. A the official picnic area, pavilion, swing sets, volleyball. Kayaks. And kids. Here's a downfall. I'm thinking that campfire thing will be lifted before too long, maybe before the year's out even. Silver thing? Oh, here's a beach shower. Wow, you just barely tap it. Look at that. Ooh. Sweet. This would be a great place for a family reunion. More restrooms up top there. So far, just so far, I'm going to rate this number two behind Itasca State Park. So far. The playground we just passed, we're right here. Oh, we're going to go to Pulp Point. Oh, they do say, they do say you are right here. A lot of them just disappeared off the sign, but yeah. it's easy to tell because there's a lot Here's of them. Here's the Pulp Point that we heard so much about. So. It looks like uh, we have, there's no looping around, so we'll have to go back the way we came, it appears. That's okay. Yeah, it's not that far. Hey, I'm spotting some uh, edible mushrooms from here. Oh, yeah. Do they call them the clamshell or something? Clam or oyster? I can't remember. Oyster shell mushrooms? They grow on the side of oak trees. Is that an oak tree? Yep, sure is. Ooh, look at that. They're just ripe for eating, too. How sure am I? Well, I'm going to eat one right now. Oh, oh, wait, the camera battery died.
Holy cow, look at this. Only an idiot would get this close to it. It's so unstable. What kind of a moron would get this close to such an unstable tree? Wow, that split, it looks like it split from the weight of this. She loves her new hiking boots. I got some hiking boots too. They're Under Armour and they're regular 200 bucks. I got them on sale at uh, Gander Outdoors of all places. If you can believe that for 54 bucks. And I have them in the camp. In fact, it's what I wore out here. But as comfortable as they are, they're just not fashionable with shorts, you know? And I'm all about fashion. So in my view, the only thing that looks good in shorts is tennis shoes. That's just... So you're saying my feet don't look good. No, her feet, her, <laughs> if you're a man, if you're a man. Look at this creepy looking tree. Heck. It's a Halloween tree. Oh. Dead fish. Where? Melon. Private property here. <laughs> this must be it. See, you could take off right there. Yeah, you're right. It could right over there. Yeah. There's an island. Actually, a couple of islands right there. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay. Made it to Pope's Point, and there wasn't a sign that said it was Pope's Point. But we asked some people, and they confirmed that it was Pope's Point. So now we're headed back, back to camp. She found her way to one of many of the restroom facilities. Very old, but very cleanly, very clean. Some of these woods get really dark. That's how thick they are. And there's trails that go all the way through it. See, like, there's one. The sign right here. Got some little mouse traps in here. Time to break out the adventure mobile bicycle thingy. I was just over at our neighbor's house who has an Arctic Fox, a 2015, just exactly like ours. And I just went over there to say hello because he came over to say hello and I didn't really have time to talk to him because I was busy setting up. So anyway, yeah, we had a lot in common, uh, so much in common, so much so I, <laughs> this is like two hours later. So I'm on my bike and I'm gonna go 
check out the park like I did at the Lindberg campground. Just see what it looks like around here. I already went on the hike. You already saw the hike. Now I'm on the bike. Hey, there's a dump station right there. I was wondering about that. And trash sanitation. Hmm, okay, site 6881. Check those out. Sites 82 to 103. They have plenty of restrooms and showers here. More than ample. Huh. Old Country Road. Campgrounds behind me here. This is cool. This is the beach area. And it has a, uh, a fire pit under a pavilion here with picnic tables. How cool is that? Candy's reading her book and she looks so comfortable I kept interrupting her. Look at I can multitask. So we went on a hike. This is this is a nice place. I'm gonna have to put it number three though for now, number three. With Itasca first, Crow Wing number two, and this being the third nicest one we've been to. They've all been nice, but after having explored and stuff around here, it's uh, number three, but nice. And yes, it's. I'll come back here for sure. It's actually got a really nice, what was the name of that town we went through when we got here? Wahoo or Wah? No, I, it's close to Isle, Minnesota, but it was called Wahan or something like that. Anyway, I, I look it up. It's a really nice little quaint, looks like a seaside town, but I guess that's what you'd expect from a lake this big. Yeah, well, on the way to the fish cleaning house, which is right there, we saw they have an amphitheater.
Now, in my lifetime, and I'm up there, I have never seen one of these in use. Not ever. Not when I was a kid, not when I was an adult. And it's open. You know, it's really nice they have these fish cleaning stations. That running water. Because no one wants to go to their camper and start cleaning fish in their camper or on their picnic table with their camper or anything like that. But this is really clean, really nice. It smells like fish. Yeah, there's a couple dead fi uh, fish guts in there. Fish. People have been catching fish. Let's see what they got here. Yeah, it's fish guts, but... Oh, big fish. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. There are some big fish in here. And it even tells you how... Oh, the light just came on. Turn oh, on. she turned it on. Tells you how to fillet out a, a northern to get the Y bones out of it. I, I got pretty good at that over the years. And tells you what spots are normal and that kind of thing. Fishes of Minnesota. That's the dogfish. That's the the mean one. They got cutting boards. Yeah, they got the wood cutting boards here. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Very clean, very nice. And a path down to the marina and the trail system. Eight thirty. Eight thirty in the morning. Time to head out and plan a new adventure. Thanks for watching. God bless.